everybody and welcome back this is Shadow X and this is let's play Final Fantasy 7 part 5 so we're here today we're gonna start off by introducing the Turks I believe we're gonna have a long road ahead so I'm gonna focus on what the time comes we need to push the wrong barrels three times to take away points from Aerith Today is going to be a bit of a challenge and still maintain to get our trophy which will include some funny things along the way if you remember and have been following along with me on the playthrough you should know I'm going for the bromance trophy. I don't quite want to spoil anything yet so let's just say there's going to be some interesting things going on. I'm going to do the best I can to follow along as this is the last footage where I forgot to plug my mic in. But now with the power of editing I can fix that. You might hear me pause and fumble a bit but it's hard to react to a live playing of your own once it's been recorded. So bear with me and part 6 will be on par. I will have a Patreon account up. I hate to ask for help but paying for bills and creating content is hard so better equipment the more you guys will love it. I'm not asking for donations but anything would be appreciated. I need help to get these videos to 5 star sound and quality and honestly I don't even own my PC yet. So you could say this is my MacGyver way of making videos. You can donate as little as one dollar and although my content will always be free to the public the content would be improved very much and I want to share my vast knowledge of this title and many more along with this whole franchise I look forward to any support and any viewers and I'm taking this very serious to get my knowledge out there so that being said let's get back to the game so as you know, we need to push off, we just met Aerith, and we need to push three barrels off at the wrong time so we can deduct a certain amount of points from her. So the way we do this is, once you get up there, you need to push, I, I believe it's the front left, back left, and then the front right. So, right here, I think I'm just setting Aerith up with some material. And yes, we're making our way up there right now as we speak. So, it's not an easy thing to be um, talking over your own video as you're not playing. But it is also hard to talk as you're playing. But I find that easier than going through this over and over again so <laughs> Cloud what are you doing man oh Reno's talking don't forget to leave a like and subscribe Shadow X don't forget to leave a like and subscribe Shadow X Good lord, that seemed like it took forever, didn't it? <laughs> Alright, so finally Aerith is ready to come with us. Cloud's ready to jump, I think. So guys, I have made the Patreon account. I not added the link yet. But I will once there's more videos up. And it doesn't seem that Aerith wants to join us with this jump. So, what do you guys think is going to happen? Those of you who know the game, you know what's going to happen. Aerith! So there are the Shinra soldiers. And basically, if you do push the barrels the right way, then you'll stop them um, if you push you need to hit hold on a minute here and then hold on a minute again so let's see if I remember correctly 
Should be front left. It's hard to say what would be front, but I was right. So we need to do, let's make our way. I was determining here which which way was front. And I mean, I guess you would assume that way, but it, it, it could be the other way, honestly. And I gotta say, uh, Suno Mod's final mix mod on the PC, it's absolutely amazing. It's like if the PS2 was released on, uh, or if FF7 was released on the PS2. It's pretty sick. So yes, we're gonna push this front left barrel. And I'm going for the bromance trophy. And there's a lot of interesting things to come. So, yep, that's the wrong barrel the first time. And that was the front left barrel that we pushed off. So, I put some materia on her. She has a very high magic stat, and it's going to be very, very easy for her to take people out. God, I love Earth. Do you remember your first playthrough and then getting to the end of disc one? Oh man, I don't want to spoil anything. Here I am deciding again what to do. It's hard to react because you're in, in, in the moment you're explaining what you're doing and what you're talking about but when you're trying to go back over it so yes the second barrel you need to push is the back left barrel and that will be the second barrel Yeah, she's taking four damage because I put the Titan Bangle on her. Um, other than that, I don't know. I don't think... She might have a decent uh, defense stat. I'm not too familiar. I am very familiar with uh, Final Fantasy X, but this is my first... Uh, or actually my second playthrough on the PS4 Digital Edition. So the last barrel we're going to do, excuse me, the back right? Yes, it's the back right. So first is front left, second is back left, third is back right. And that is to get the bromance trophy, if you're going for that trophy, that ultra rare trophy or very rare. Whatever it is, I think it's at like 1.9% or something like that, 2%, 2.9, somewhere around there. So, right now, we're taking, um, just taking our time getting through. Um, sorry about the noise. If I don't edit that out, I apologize. It's not like I can keep everybody in the house quiet at the same time. Especially the way I have my setup going right now. It's very annoying. I wish I had my own place, but there's nothing I can do. And that's why I've set up a Patreon page, because it's going to be very, very hard to get up there. And I have so much vast knowledge of this franchise that I want to share with you guys. And that's why I want to remind you... It seems as though my content is so poor because I'm using somebody else's PC. I only get to use it so often. It is very hard to get subscribers. It is very, it's going to be a very long time, if ever, that I make a cent from YouTube. And that's not the goal here. The goal here is to provide the knowledge that I know with all the new players, seeing this is a perfect time, being with the release 
across the whole world. So once again, I apologize for the door opening. Um, but I will in the future, if once I get better equipment, I'll be able to fix things. So here we're making our way out. Um, we managed to avoid the Turks and push strong barrels off. That was Reno. I'm sure we'll be running him, running into him again. We, I think we're gonna make our way to Aerith. Yeah, we're make, gonna make our way to Aerith's house. Or you can take a little side trip, which I believe we might do, and go to the, um, there's a, a sick guy with a tattoo of number one. And for new players, I want you to remember that. The number one. He has a number one tattooed on him. You'll see when we get to that. If it's not in this video, then I will show you. So I do apologize. But I cannot wait to get the right equipment and have my own sound studio, etc. It's very exciting. And none of it is to make money. Yeah, if I do, yada yada, that's great. But all in all, I'm really here just to share my experience and what I think about this franchise with you guys. And I am very confident in my abilities just in what I've learned in the past week my my channel has only been up for a week and it's not doing amazing or even very well but I would say it's doing fair so with that it's giving me all the more incentive to push along so we we have to deal with this, but when part six comes, I'll be in it, and I'll be able to explain the gameplay and the mechanics a little bit more. For people who know the game and are here just to follow along, I appreciate you if you're here with me. And I'd like to see some opinions in the comments if you guys are following along. I want to know what you think about the upcoming remake let me know uh let me know your stories let me know your favorite characters let me know what playthroughs should come next i think i'm gonna do 10 next i'm actually gonna do 10 a 10 playthrough i'm gonna do all the kingdom hearts playthroughs um but i want to get into some actual ps4 games so that's why I want to automatically get into the uh, PS4 era type game. So I might launch a PS uh, or Final Fantasy 15 launch too, and just manage the three playthroughs. And I'm also doing a John Wick 3 review. That's my movie review for the week. So I hope you guys check that out as well. I hope you guys enjoyed that Avengers video. Even though I managed to spell the title wrong. They let me fix it. I had worked so long and was so tired. I just I just couldn't. <laughs> I really was really tired. I didn't even realize I spelled Avengers wrong. The main title. How embarrassing is that? Very embarrassing. So yeah, I just saved my game in the way I can. Here you go. Here's a good example of double save. <laughs> and this is not intended to be a hundred percent walkthrough, but it most likely will. I'll show you how to max your stats out the 255. I'll show you how to beat Ruby Weapon with um you I take Ruby down on one one attack basically. And it's it's very complex, but any veterans that might be falling will know what I'm talking about. And it's the counter mime omni slash. So it's I don't want to spoil anything for any newcomers, but yeah, you're gonna see some very interesting post game things in this game, and it's absolutely amazing. So 
There's much more to come. It's really seems like it's boring right now, but I promise once we get close to getting out of Midgar, it's gonna pick up and it's gonna get on fire. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna release uh, my John Wick 3 review. And I'm going to uh, catch you guys up on some some newer games, even though 15's been out a while. I am just now familiar with the PS4. So, yeah, I would definitely want to launch some out. So, in here is just, um, this is how you get to Aerith's house. But here's a weapon shop where you can buy grenades and a Titan Bangle. I don't recommend buying more than maybe one or two because you're going to get a chance to buy mithril arm armlets pretty soon and I messed up pretty bad right here because I believe that I bought more than uh, one or two <laughs> and see just like there I was probably explaining something see I bought three please don't tell me I bought another one I was probably explaining the same thing I just said, just at a different time. Yeah, see, I'm ready to go back and sell it. <laughs> so I guess I can get rid of Bronze Bangle. Oh, Lord. Anyways, sometimes, um... Like if you were playing a necrosis mod or something like that, you'd want to start off with a lot of grenades because grenades can do like pretty much like a base power of 150 to pretty much anything. But once you get to wall market, you're going to be able to buy mithril armlets and those have higher defense, higher magic defense, and they're double slotted and they're linked together. So yeah, you can have an all attacking materia on your magic um weapon and then you can have an all and a restore on your defending weapon for example in here um this guy isn't really just a random mc uh npc talking about avalanche what we need to do is make our way upstairs and there's gonna be a a child and it looks like he has gotten to his father's bourbon or something something like that <laughs> and we're gonna be we'll get there in just a second hold on see see what's going on here okay yeah, see, this is where I was regretting buying the Titan Bangles because I knew the Mithril Armaments were coming. But it's really a common mistake. I mean, so we make our way up, and here's the kid that got into his daddy's bourbon. Glug, glug. No one. No one will ever find it. No one. The top one and the bottom one. And in here, you're going to want to click the hidden drawer and as you can see as we open the hidden drawer it's five gill you can take it but what is five gill if what you want to do here is you want to leave it leave the five gill and you'll be able to come back later in the game and receive an item i believe it's i believe it's a turbo either i'm not sure though but with the W item glitch, it really doesn't matter. It's just, uh, I guess it's a courtesy for me, because why would you take $5 from a kid? But anyways, in here is just a basic item shop where the lady says, we only trade items for gill. That's like a retail store saying, we only trade stuff for money. Uh, okay. And please don't tell me I bought anything. Okay, good. Yeah, I messed up by buying three of those Titan Bingles. I only wanted two. You know, one for Barrett, one for uh, Cloud, and then I wanted the Mithril armlet, Armlets on uh, Aerith. And Red 13 when we get him. And this is, I believe, a Materia shop. 
and you can purchase uh, fire here. I don't suggest buying fire because we're gonna get red 13 soon and he ha he will have a more developed fire spell with more AP on it. So that's the reason I don't do that. If anything, I don't think I have the gill here and that's why I'm mad I bought that extra Titan Bangle. Um, if you do have the money right here, I would purchase another lightning spell because we're going to be dealing with a lot of machines. So, yeah. So, I um, think here is where I'm going to sell an ether for seven fifty because I usually just end up holding on to them anyway. So, yeah, I sold it for seven fifty. And, uh, I don't know why I keep selecting that. Need those potions. I need those fe Phoenix Downs. Potions and Phoenix Downs and tents you're gonna need. But I feel, I feel, I'm always, uh, you have two restores. Come on, Shadow. Get the lightning. There you go. Yeah, you want as many lightning as you want. And I think, uh, it's Barret that comes with the ice spell. You could buy the fire if you want, but the thunder is more effective. Well, I guess I didn't buy it. Well, this is why I like talking as I'm playing. <laughs> if this person sells grenades, lightning, and you can see that little sink between the slots. Those are the material slots and they're linked together. But the Titan Bangle, they're not linked together. They are just, it's too slotted so you can put two materials in there. But if it's anything like at all, uh, um, an independent material or um, an added effect or anything like that, it's not going to work. If it's not linked together like the Buster Sword is. But the Mithril armlets you can buy in Walmart it are. Let me get a sip of some water wall. Cloud figure out what he's doing right here. So like I said, this is the last episode. Um we should be able to uh move on pretty quickly from here and I should be printing out videos pretty fast so I hope you guys are following along and being patient and I'm not sure why it's being paused for so long yeah so I do have the two lightning spells so I'm gonna give her lightning because oh I had lightning and fire and ice see oh you know what I will do a little bit of grinding here and there, but I'll probably do that off uh, off camera unless you guys tell me you you would like to see it in the areas I go. There's a few special, and I've actually been telling a few people my secrets um, on the Final Fantasy community and Facebook. Um, this is where the guy is sick. Um, and he has the number one tattooed on him. And once you're finished with the story, you'll really uh, come back to be like, wow. For people who know this game, <laughs> Hojo is an a-hole. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my channel PG. I'm trying to do the best that I can with what I have. But it's nearly impossible. And I know I don't have a lot of videos up yet. And a Patreon account is for loved content. But it's just so hard to... I need a microphone. I need a PC. And I need... I would like a better editing program. But this is fine for now. And I need... The Elgato capture card. 
and all that costs around six to eight hundred bucks. I could probably get it all for um, a decent PC. <laughs> There's a lot more, but I just need something basic for now so I could continue. And there, I don't think um, if someone could confirm this, this would be great. But I really don't think there's anything else you could do with that sick person. Um, you'll find out later in the game. It's not really a spoiler. But uh, Light Cloud, the blue eyes, is Mako. And the guy is sick from the Mako. And uh, if you're familiar with Advent Children, it's kind of like the Sigma Stickness. It's just that guy was Hojo's first creation. So that's why he's sick. Because Hojo failed, and Red 13 turned out to be great. Cloud ends up becoming great, and other than that, Sephiroth is flying around like whoosh, whoosh, Superman. There's a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> and I gotta tell you guys, um, I've had a sore throat over the weekend, so. Voiceover is never. I've, I've never done voiceovers before, and this is a totally new thing for me. And when I write a scripted video, like for that intro, unless I read it multiple times, it's still really hard. And the reason I'm not gonna go back and edit it out is not because I'm being lazy, it's because I want to show you guys that I'm human. And humans make mistakes we all do and to get better at this I'm gonna need the support of my community and I hope you guys enjoy the content I want to hear your opinions I want to hear what you guys like who your characters are whether it's this game or another and I will be doing every title on my uh, playlist all the way I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do one to five yet um, but I, I guess it's probably gonna be on one of the retrons whether it's the NES, NES or the retron uh, Super Nintendo for six or I might do it on Steam I apologize for all the slip-ups this is Shadow Wick Stream Gaming and Reviews. I hope you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more up to date, improved audio and quality content. Thank you. Have a great day.